Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So market performance becoming more and more quiet. So we're coming to very important data. So tomorrow we will get the PPI numbers in the United States. It's also uh, seems important, at least uh, we usually track the PPI commodity index. So we think that it is uh, not as strong manipulated as the CPI. And also it includes the all bulk of the uh, commodity prices without, without the, taking the special weights on different components. So it's a uh, very good representative of the um, inflation. So and today we will, uh, and tomorrow we'll get the PPI numbers that uh, also will be some part of the driving factor for the common Fed meeting on the next week. Uh, CPI will get on Tuesday right at the eve of the Fed meeting. So meantime, maybe because of the expectation of these numbers or Maybe some by other reason, but the market actually uh, stands relatively quiet. But uh, as long as, as long as we are watching for performance as uh, more, it seems that our production is not finished yet, because the performance that we see on the intraday chart stands a bit irrational to normal bearish market. So usually the bearish action starts different. And market right now turns the consolidation. We have seen pre before many times. So every time I, when I see this type of action, it's usually <clears throat> means that some upper action should happen. We do not know whether this will be just spike up to complete the XOP target here, or it will be action to a bit high standing resistance level. Currently, it isn't clear, but definitely the performance right now is not bearish. So on the follow time frame chart, for example, by the way, on the daily chart, recall the grabber that we mentioned yesterday, as you can see, Mark recently shows the spike and actually taking out the top of this grabber. On the four hour time frame chart, performance, you can see by yourself. So market just retesting the previous lows and stubborn as the tops and stubborn stands above it. So first test, there was the grabber market created new top. Now it's testing it again, shows the more or less significant pullback. So this is not the way usually how the bearish action starts. So it means that here we should expect be, pre be prepared for some action to the upside probably. Uh, on the hourly chart, we have another two patterns that mostly suggest the same. First of all, let's take a look most recent action starts the taking shape of the triangle consolidation, which is also seems to be uh, continuation pattern right there and um, inside of the triangle let's take a look we also have minor reverse head and shoulders pattern so i wouldn't call for taking the long position here so they don't know whether this makes sense currently to take the long position or not but in current circumstances it's definitely we, we should better wait before taking any short position so yesterday attempt to take position based on the grabber was not successful. This market actually shows this upper action. Um, and this and following performance that we see currently, this picture becoming a bit more evident, taking it all together now, it seems more clear that probably it's not time for taking the short position right now. So we need to wait and see what will happen.